is always 14 for problems we work in class unless I give you an excerpt of a chart, in which case you need to find the isogonic line and use whatever it says on that line. And I will give you a hint. I'm going to give you a homework assignment, which is one of these. Okay? Here's your gimme for the night. Do not forget magnetic variation, because I'm not going to write it on the board. You're going to work it out with your flight computer, and when you get to the step up there that says magnetic variation, what are you going to use? 14. Minus 14 degrees. Cool. Okay, you have 16 minutes to work this problem out. Here's the things I want to know. What's WCA stand for again? Wind correction angle. I want to know your magnetic heading, your total fuel, time in route, wind correction angle, ground speed. How many of you think you can do it? Mark a wind dot uh, up at 21. Okay. Then we are going to put our true course of 265. So we got our true course of 265. We're close to it. Then we're going to put that dot that you made on our true airspeed of 130. So our dot is 130. What's our ground speed? We have a ground speed of 120. What's our wind correction? What's our wind correction? How many of you say 8? How many of you say nine? I say Ooh, nine. The nine is win. Nine. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. Can't fly it that perfect anyway. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, please. Our center grommet gives us what? Ground, ground, ground speed. speed. Because we put the dot we made on this 130 arc, which is our true airspeed, right here. Our wind correction angle is read from center out this way. Right here is 5 degrees, 10 degrees. Our wind correction angle falls right on the 8 degree mark on this flight computer. Okay? Since it is to the right of the center line, we add it. This is where this left and right comes from. Okay, so that gives us our wind correction angle of what you guys said was 009 plus. Okay, so we all with that now? Mm -hmm. Okay, <coughs> now we're just going to work out this formula. Let's work it out based on what your computer says. Your computer says true course plus or minus what? Does your say wind correction angle? Correct. Yes. Plus or minus magnetic variation? No. Minus is th. Th. Okay. Equals true, true course or true heading. True heading. True heading. Then plus or minus magnetic variation? Uh, just says variation. Okay. Plus okay. magnetic variation okay. equals magnetic heading. Okay, so what's our true course? 
two, two six, six five. five. Plus or minus? Plus, plus nine. Plus zero zero nine equals two seven four. We're going to move this, put this down here. Okay, plus or minus variation. We're going to subtract 14, which gives us 260. 251. 260. So that gives us our magnetic heading of 260 degrees, right? Correct. Speed, time, distance, rate of burn, time, total fuel. What's our speed? 120. We don't know the time. What's our distance? 420. Okay, tell me how long it is going to take us at 120 knots to go 420 nautical miles. Three and a half hours. So at 1.30 to go 420. So 120. Oh, 120 ground speed. Okay. 120 ground speed to go 420 nautical miles, three hours and 30 minutes. Then we have a rate of burn of 12.5 gallons per hour at three hours and 30 minutes. So we go 12.5. Three hours and 30 minutes gives us 44 gallons. 44 plus our reserve. What's our reserve? 6.3, so that is how many gallons? Seven. Total. You know, if, you want to that half hour. if I don't if I don't want it to include the reserve, I'll tell you no reserve. So it gives us a total of roughly 51 gallons. Okay, because we're going to round up on fuel. Even if we're 5.2, we're going to round up on fuel. All right. Because I would much rather you guys figure out it's going to need too much fuel than not enough fuel. Do we have enough to make the trip non-stop? We're carrying 90 gallons of fuel, no problem. So our time in route was 3 hours, 30 minutes. And everything looks good.